Hey YouTube, it's me. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry I didn't update this week. I tried, okay? Don't be mean to me. I tried. In fact, I did a whole video of me making this nice little painting over here. But by the time I got to it, guess what? You can't see watercolors on my camera unless you're like this close to it. <sighs> Waste of poster board. But I might try and work on that again, maybe with Sharpies or something. I don't know. I'm going to try. Anyway. So, I'm sorry I haven't updated. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and make up for it this next week. But, um, here's a little treat for you as an apology. You know, I like webcomics a lot. Like, I mean, I know I like videos on YouTube a lot, but I also like webcomics. They're awesome. In fact, me and my sister Ariel are trying to put together a webcomic, but it's not really going so well. But we're trying. But yeah, I love webcomics. I have like a billion different webcomics I read every day. So, as a special treat for you, I mean, because I don't want you sitting for your computers every day like, I wish Boo and H. Oddity would update her videos and eh, refresh, refresh, refresh. Instead of doing that, you can waste your time reading webcomics. Instead of wasting your time doing something like exercising or studying, anything like that. But yeah, so here is five webcomics. And then three people that don't have webcomics but draw comics on the web. I'll explain that later. Okay. This is, for your consideration, webcomics that don't suck. Alright. Number one. One of my favorite webcomics, probably my top favorite actually, is Octopus Pie by Meredith Gran. Mm -hmm. It is very good. Very, very good. It's amazing. Just everything about it. It's funny, clever, uh, just smart comic, basically. Got deep characters. Um, very good art. She works very hard. I watched the videos she has on YouTube of her making her comics. I don't know if I could do that, but... She's really good, so you should really check it out. Octopus Pie. It's octopuspie.com. It's really good. Alright. Number two is Manage à Trois, which is a slightly newer comic. Uh, it's by these people that I really... Well, I'm not sure. If it's the same artist that did Penny and Aggie, which I also like and I also read. It is Giz and Dave Zero One. That's the name of the people that do the comic. It's very good. It takes place in Canada. My homeland. I'm kidding. It's not my homeland. But, um, it's, uh, very good. I, it's just, I've read Cool Cat Studio and Penny and Aggie, but I have to say, Manager Trois is just great. It's funny, and it's lighthearted, and when you walk away from the comic, you walk away with a good feeling. So I highly suggest it to anyone that doesn't want to be dragged down by drama. Number three is Girly by Josh L. And you've probably seen his videos on YouTube too. He's very good. Uh, he's got a long archive of his comic though, so if you're gonna read Girly, you need to catch up because there's a lot of stuff going on there. But it's very fun. It's a very fun comic. It's got great art. He works really hard on it, I can tell. And it's really progressed over the years. Uh, yeah, it's Girly. It's very good. It's Girly. Com. All right, number four. Uh, if you like Octopus Pie, I think you would like this comic, except it's a little more dramatic. It's Anders Loves Maria by Renee Engstrom. I don't know. It's Swedish, I think, but um, it's a very good comic. Pretty long, but uh, very good. The art to start off with isn't that great, but it really progresses over the story. Um, it's very good. A lot of depth. I almost gave up on that comic because Andrew's is so fucking stupid. But he saved himself, so it's okay. I still read it. It's just a great comic. I really like it. She works pretty hard on it. I can see the watercolor she does, and I'm like, Jesus. Alright, and number five, to leave you off with for webcomics, is Pictures for Sad Children by John Campbell. And you've probably heard of him, because it's a very popular webcomic. It's very good. Uh, the art is stick figures, but good stick figures, not like left-handed stick figures, but it's very good. Uh, the stories are great. Like, 
very highbrow actually some of the humor that's in it but I like it it's very clever okay so there's some webcomics um, a few people that I like online that don't have webcomics or don't anymore have webcomics do draw comics online just for their own fuck of it they don't have like a webcomic comic but they draw comics and it's very good they're very, they're, all three of them are very good very talented ladies that's what they are Number one is Lucy Nisley. Uh, you've probably seen some of her stuff on her live journal. Uh, her site is stoppayingattention.com and her art is great. Her stuff, mostly that I've read, is about her life. And uh, it's just very good stuff. I mean, I like it. I like the way she does the things. Uh, I really got attached to her during the hourly comic that was going on last month. Her stuff was really funny. Um, Number two, two, is Kate Beaton, and uh, another Canadian, as a matter of fact. Um, she draws mostly history comics, but sometimes will draw stuff about her own life. But I've won more in her history comics than I have in any history class I've ever taken. And her stuff's very funny. I like it. The art's pretty good. Pens, but you know, whatever. I prefer pencils. Whatever. Uh, her site is katebeaton.com. And, uh, my last person, number three, is Liz Greenfield, who actually used to have a webcomic, Stuff Sucks, but, um, that was, like, a few years ago. And when she got it published, she took it down, which is really sad, because I, I only rediscovered her just this year, after reading Stuff Sucks two years ago, hoping to read it again, but it was gone. Um, you can buy it on her site, which is stuffsucks.com. It stayed the same. And, uh, she still draws some comics, though. She draws, um, Liz Greenfield's Fancy Circumstances, which I think are pretty funny, and the art's pretty good. So, yeah. But yeah, all stuff I just listed, all very quality comics, uh, good humor, because, you know, you gotta have humor. And, uh, very good art, I think, for all of them. So, yeah. When you aren't clicking away on the refresh button on my page, Check out these comics, because they're pretty good. Alright, that's all I got for you. I'll try to get some updates in this week. And I'll see you sexy people later.